Thank you for joining me on another episode of VIP Exclusive. As you all know, I am your host, Fortune, and we've been going through a series of Afrobeats for some time now. We've looked at the history, we've looked at subgenres, and we've looked at different different aspects of Afrobeats. So today we're going to be looking at the western part of Nigeria and its Fuji culture. We'll also be looking at Fuji's contributions to Afrobeat. So you know, Fuji was actually created back in the 40s, and then it is solely, you know created from where music and where music is also known as Aji Sari which means waking up for Sari this was music that was used to wake up you know the Muslims at dawn for Ram during the Ramadan fast and that is for where music and then where music is one of the major major or will I say the entire base in which mu Fuji music was founded so Fuji music was founded by Alaji Sikuru Ainde and he you know brought out the name Fuji from when he was at the airport and then he saw this poster Japan Fuji and that was how he found out that you know that was how he brought up the name Fuji and Fuji music is deeply rooted in Yoruba music you know it is deeply rooted in the southwestern part of Nigeria majorly Yoruba and mostly in Lagos and it has its own culture and its whole thing going on and you know Yoruba people take Fuji seriously and they've been able to imbibe it completely use it in their weddings use it in different kinds of events and all of that and then even in their clubs and Fuji music is really really rooted in Yoruba sound and you know Fuji has several kinds of you know deeply ancient sounds coming together to form this beautiful genre it has a row it has do music it has high life it has do do gudu and so many other genres coming together and all these elements different different elements from all these sounds and they come together and then they make this beautiful genre that is fuji and you know fuji i wouldn't say that it was founded in the 40s because a lot of people have claims that it has come from way back in the olden days but let's not get into that there's a very little to no history and framework and you know a right read, written works out there about fuji because no one really has access to this information and no one really put down this history back in the days you know given that africa was not generally into all of that at that time but Fuji music has its own community and its own sound on its own and I would say that Yoruba people are really the real that like, they're the real owners of Fuji music yes that's the best way to say it. so you know Fuji music has its own roots from you know, the western part of Nigeria and it has its own elements of several elements from western music put together when fuji music was first broadcasted you know a lot of critics came out to say oh, this is local music nobody wants to listen to this this is too local and all of that but you know the founder laji sikuru was able to say that fuji music has elements from ancient sounds but it also has elements from western music you know it comes from sakara it has just as i said earlier i already listed the genres it comes from aro juju music and all of these sounds put together and fuji music has really you know made waves into the modernization and then it has come into play even right now we'll still have fuji music in several elements of it in different genres in nigerian music we have some of these popular artists that have put together fuji music we have basuma wanda we have adewale ayuba we have 
Taye, Corinne, so many other artists that have really put together Fuji music and it has really been an amazing, amazing thing over the years, right from back in the days down to now. No matter how you want to modernize Fuji music, it still has to have that deep essence, that element of Yoruba sound, that deep essence of the social cultural elements of the Yorubas as a whole put together to make that sound and just as we said earlier you know when we're talking about the history of Afrobeats and how Afrobeats came to be we talked about how Fuji has a great impact in Afrobeats you know back in the days Fuji music was also used as a medium of activism and all the artists that came together to put out Fuji music were trying to fight you know the military regime at that time and that has its own similarities with Afrobeats you know Afrobeats just as Fela was an activist and then he was trying to fight the government at that time and he had his own motion he had his own you know plans on how to voice out his concerns about the government and how he wasn't comfortable with the way they were running that time and all of that you know that is one of the major similarities between fuji and afrobeat we also have some of the artists of these days that are bringing out different genres and sounds but you know most of them would not want to root their sound down to fuji music but if you look at it all of these sounds that are coming in these days as long as you have that deep essence of you know african music from the roots and then you want to imbibe afrobeats as long as you have all these elements you have implicated yourself by imbibing fuji implicated i don't know <laughs> but i would say that you've been able to you know drag fuji music which is like purely west africa um, you know west the western part of nigerian music and all these modern elements put together to form basic genres we have afro beats afro pop afro rave and so many forms of african music that have been to put together not just within the country not just within nigeria we also have other countries in the western part of africa and outside the western part of africa too that have been able to imbibe fuji into their several sounds even high life has elements of fuji and we know that high life is you know rooted from ghana and all of these countries all together all have you know elements of fuji in their sound so it's safe to say that fuji has a great influence in african music as a whole so you know another similarity within afrobeat and fuji is that you know although afrobeat has its own deep roots from like in a neutral uh, sound it's not basically islamic or christian or or any form of traditional form it is just purely neutral but you know fuji music is rooted from islamic sound just as i said it comes from the genre where uh, which was used for you know a wake-up call for muslims back in the day you know for ramadan and all of that we're not getting into that because we already mentioned that earlier but you know that fuji music is also into the neutral aspect of life it's not purely islamic because we also have fuji music played in different forms of life we have fuji music that has even been written in in you know in a christian form and all of that so i wouldn't say that fuji music was streamlined only into islamic sound because it was able to curb out of there especially the modern fuji music and the artists that are into fuji was able to curb out a little bit but it has all these sounds and that is how it is also similar to afrobeats because afrobeats can be sung in any form it can be sung in any form of life in any aspect in any religion and all these sounds put together don't need to you know be streamlined into a particular type of uh lifeline or something music is music and it should be accepted by anyone and everyone okay yes afrobeat has gone global and it has found admiration from several parts of the world we have a whole lot of people appreciating afrobeat now but you know fuji also had its own glory days I, it still has glory days because fuji is also internationally accepted and afrobeat is one of the should i say children of fuji music and afrobeat is also accepted generally and all although a lot of people don't really know the rules 
roots and have not really given credit to Fuji music but we know that Fuji through Afrobeat have been able to break into the international space we have lots of people that are ready to invest financially we have a whole lot of record deal labels with international acts we have features with internationally accepted musicians and all of this and even our artists that are Afrobeat artists you know just as I said people like Burner Boy and people like this kid people like Davido also have you know international recognition and it is safe to say that Fuji music through Afrobeat has been internationally recognized so we've come to the end of today's episode and if you look into our previous episodes you'll be able to connect the dots and see how Afrobeat has really really you know been very influential in the international space and through Afrobeat Fuji music has really broken all the barriers and all of it although a whole lot of people wouldn't want to give credit to Fuji because they feel Fuji is all local and it's basically your but come to think of it all these sounds found their you know found their source from this Fuji music most of the sounds found your source from Fuji music thank you so much for joining me on today's episode as I said earlier my name is Fortune and I would love it if you follow us on all our social media platforms make sure you follow us on Instagram make sure you follow us on twitter make sure you follow us on facebook and youtube all at evit magazine thank you so much for joining me do have a jolly day